Hello again, everybody. Scotty P here coming to you from the DMV as usual. Happy Saturday, a beautiful Saturday here in Baltimore. Uh, unfortunately, it's not quite as happy for us as Friday was since our pick from AlgaVision yesterday did not quite work out the way we had hoped as the Cincinnati Reds for the second night in a row upset the St. Louis Cardinals. The Cardinals were minus 137 uh, favorites on the closing line, opened up at about minus 115. Lots of money on them. Looked like a great bet numbers wise, but uh, the Cardinals could not come back from a six to one deficit and fall six to four. We talked about it, it happens in baseball, it happens in sports all the time. That's why they play the games. And uh, AlgaVision, which is powered by a, a data and math driven algorithm that's picked sport, uh, sporting events winners at nearly a 65% win ratio for many, many years, completely documented. You know, you're still gonna lose four, three and a half out of 10, four out of 10 times, um, even with the best program, which AlgaVision is one of the best out there. Uh, professional gamblers, professional sports bettors win 56 to 58% of the time and make a living. So it happens sometimes. Uh, yesterday's game, everything looked great. Luis Castillo on the mound for the Reds. Everything I read, everything I researched, just like I do every day, everyone I listen to, um, fade Castillo, fade the Reds. He is now two and eight on the year with a 6.63 ERA, 1.66 whip. I believe he's two and 10 for his career with the Reds. Don't quote me on that. Somehow he goes six innings, gives up three hits, one run, strikes out five. Um, just kind of, uh, an unbelievable performance by him, one that wasn't expected. And when you see that uh, the, the Reds jumped out to that six to one lead, um, looking at a team like the Cardinals, the Reds actually have a pretty good offense. They are, uh, let's see, number nine in run scored in Major League Baseball, number six in batting average. So a pretty formidable offense for the Reds. Usually pitching is their downfall. This looked like a pitching mismatch. Uh, Kwang Hyung Kim on the mound for the Cardinals. Um, four and four on his career with a 2.85 ERA and a 1.19 whip. Pretty solid numbers, although he's only one and four this year. Still one and one with a solid 3.06 ERA at home and a 4.05 overall ERA. So you think that's a pitching mismatch with a guy who's two and 10 or uh, all time two and eight uh, this year for Cincinnati on the mound of 6.63 ERA. Um, but uh, the Reds managed to get that lead. And then, you know, with a, a, a team that's not as strong offensively, the Cardinals, stronger defensively and stronger with the pitching, uh, 24th in batting average, 18th in run scored in all of Major League Baseball this year. Reds just couldn't dig out of that hole. They did finally uh, get to Castillo. They finally got into the bullpen. They made Cincinnati use six pitchers. We've told you many, many times, the deeper you can get into a team's bullpen, the better that winning formula generally becomes. Um, uh, they got first and third, did uh, the Cardinals in the ninth inning with Paul Goldschmidt, one of their best hitters up, two outs, the tying run on first base. Um, Sean Doolittle did little. Um, he gave up a run and two hits and couldn't get an out. Um, so the Reds actually bring in a guy named Michael Felix, who's not even their closer, has a 5.65 ERA. So I got Paul Goldschmidt against a 5.65 ERA, a guy who's not used to closing with the game on the line in a, uh, you know, uh, a stadium that's got fans in it. We haven't had fans for a long time in a lot of stadiums. A, a pressure situation, I'll take Goldschmidt uh, many times. I'll take the odds with him in that situation. Unfortunately, he struck out, and uh, the Reds go come away with the upset win. Can't do anything about it. It happens sometimes. The, the night before, uh, the Cardinals had a chance in the ninth inning, and they tried to bunt twice in a row, and the second bunt ended up being a double play, third to first, something you rarely, rarely see in Major League Baseball, uh, and they bunted themselves, and they strategized themselves out of that game. Last night, they got behind early and just couldn't overcome that large deficit. It does happen. Again, the better offensive team won when on paper, and I'm sure according to the AlgaVision numbers, it really looked like the pitching uh, matchup was such a mismatch that uh, the Cardinals had to be uh, a strong pick. They were a secondary pick, which means better than a 60% win probability. Not the top of the top picks, not a, not a primary selection, which would be 70% or better win probability, but still uh, the type of pick that has won 60 plus percent of the time for many, many years completely documented. And again, if you're new to AlgaVision, it, it is a algorithm based data driven product that picks the winners of sporting events. And it has successfully at nearly a 65% rate for many, many years, all completely documented, all completely transparent. Go to the website, algavision.com, check it out, www.algavision.com. You can find out all about it. You can track all the results like they've asked me to do for the last four or five years. Um, and they've brought me in here to, to complete that circle of transparency. So many of the people that are 
um, making people pay for sports betting selections that are touts that are yelling and screaming about locks of the year. There's no locks of the year and 50 star selections and five star selection can't miss. Well, can miss because even the best win 56 to 58 percent of the time. But again, AlgaVision 60 to 65 percent. I'm here to provide some of that transparency. You don't see me hiding today, running away from the loss. I'm going to call them out. I'm going to tell you that they lost. Try to look at maybe why they lost. Some things you can't predict. You can't predict a, a, a one and eight pitcher to give you six innings, three hits, one run, five strikeouts. Um, can't can't make those things up. You can't. Uh, numbers aren't going to show you that Paul Goldschmidt's going to strike out against a 5.65 ERA relief pitcher who isn't normally a closer with the tying runs on base. These things happen. That's why they play the games. You're looking for consistency. You're looking for a consistent win percentage, a consistent return on investment over a long period of time. AlgaVision provides both of those with full transparency and the ROI uh, generally over the long term exceeds other investment options that are out there, such as the stock market and other opportunities that you might be able to invest in. Um, the AlgaVision success rate over the years uh, generally tops most investment options that are on the market. So um, a tough loss yesterday after a big win and after a really good stretch where AlgaVision was really hot. Um, just keep riding this picks, ride the selections, go, uh, stay the course over a long period of time. You'll have that upward trajectory. You'll be making money. Don't chase bets. Don't bet more the next day. Don't bet more games just because you lost a couple. Stick with AlgaVision. Stick with the picks. You'll make money over time and you'll get all the excitement of being able to have action on sports games, sporting events, and uh, sweating those games. And you'll get all the big wins that'll make you, that'll get you all fired up and you'll get all the bad beats that make you shake your head. But if you want that excitement, AlgaVision gives it to you. The only difference is there's no roller coaster. You're going to win consistently. If you stay the course, you're going to make money. Um, recap of yesterday in, in sports in general, Major League Baseball favorites were eight and three uh, on the day are 461 and 358, 56.3% win percentage. It's a great percentage, but you have to remember that some of those games are minus 300 and minus 275, lots of juice, um, tough odds. If you lose those games, you're really in a little bit of a hole financially. Um, so 56.3% might be break even, might not be. Remember that 53% breaks even with minus 110 odds when we're betting point spreads. So 56.3% favorites when you're considering all the juice that's involved in Major League Baseball betting might or might not break even. The great thing about AlgaVision is even though they give you favorites a lot of the time, they rarely give you a favorite that's so big that you can't even stomach it. Um, there is a cutoff. There are games that they won't bet, even though the favorites are high probability winners. Um, but at 60 to 65 percent, really in the 63 percent range for 20 years, um, Algovision is going to win betting favorites. And that's what you want to win. People talk about value all the time and betting underdogs. And let's bet 100 to win 200. Well, you don't want to bet 100 to lose 100. Let's bet 100 to win 50, 65 percent of the time. And we'll all be happy and we'll make money. And we won't have to keep putting money in our accounts every three weeks. So, um, Keep that in mind when you're betting baseball and keep that in mind when you're looking at AlgaVisions. Yeah, it's not that there's not a bunch of underdogs. There's not a bunch of crazy odds winners that you're going to get, but you're going to make money. And that's value to me. Winning consistently and making money is value to me. NBA Clippers, big win at, on the road as a minus three favorite against Dallas to force a game seven. Uh, road favorites in the NBA, something like 10 and two now in the postseason. Just crazy. No home teams have won in that series. Three road teams have won. So we're going back to Los Angeles. The Clippers, one of the preseason favorites to, to come out of the West and get to the finals. Um, just a huge game for, for L.A. Kawhi Leonard, as he often does in the playoffs, just was enormous last night. Couldn't miss for the second through the fourth quarters. Um, Donkic kind of disappeared a little bit, looked really tired, lots of air balls. Um, their offense is, revolves around him. A lot of guys kind of stand and watch and see what he's going to create and he just couldn't get it done while Leonard went nuts. Um, just an incredible performance. I think at one point, second through fourth quarter, Leonard had uh, outscored Donkic by like uh, 30 to six or something. It was an incredible run and mid-range game. Just, you love to see it. it's old school. No guy, it's not a guy standing in the corner, chucking up threes. Leonard's beating people off the dribble, hitting 17 footers and uh, he doesn't miss them. If he's open from 15 to 18, you can pretty much count on it. Um, he's not gonna, he's not gonna kill you with threes, but uh, looking for a huge game seven there. Um, overall, favorites are 29 and 13 in the NBA playoffs straight up, 27 and 15 or 64.3% against uh, the spread. Um, NHL, huge win for the Vegas Golden Knights. If you're out in Vegas, I know some of our AlgaVision folks are out there. Packed crowd. Vegas was down. Third period was total chaos up and down the ice. Incredible speed. 
Algavision doesn't supply hockey picks. I'm a big hockey person. I like to talk about it. I'm sure some of you like to play hockey. Um, I certainly do. Um, Might have had Vegas last night. I'm not going to lie. Thank you very much. But I was sweating at five minutes left. Needed Vegas to come through two goals in the last five and a half minutes. Both kind of lucky. But to be honest, the Golden Knights have dominated the last couple games, hit a ton of posts, bad calls in overtime to lose uh, that game too. Um, the puck luck, the karma finally went their way. And uh, now we have a series, two games to one. I think those are the two most exciting teams in hockey to watch. The speed of these games is incredible. If you're not a hockey fan and just want to watch something that's really fun and exciting, check out the rest of that series. Um, and that's our wrap up for today. Um, there are some interesting other things going on in uh, Major League Baseball also and, and basketball today. NBA, we've got the Bucks and Nets. Huge series in the East, uh, second round series. The Nets are a four point favorite after opening as a five point favorite. Tons of bets on the Nets. Smart money pros are betting on the Bucks. Should be an interesting one to watch. The Nets got the big three Hard, uh, Harden, Irving, and um, Durant. Just an incredible offensive uh, unit, one that maybe we've never seen before, we'll never see again. But of course, the Bucks have perennial MVP candidate Giannis. Um, they look like they're on a mission. They lost to uh, Miami and a big upset as one of the favorites in the East last year. Really just didn't show up in the bubble. This year they knocked the, they swept Miami, uh, a tough Miami team that competes. Um, the, the Milwaukee just looks like they're on a mission. The, the Nets are supremely talented. These teams score a lot of points. They're top six in offensive efficiency. Really looking forward to this series. To me, this might be the championship series. The winner of this series might win it all. Um, the Bucks have been red hot down the stretch. Stretch. The Nets have the most talent in basketball. The West um, just doesn't seem to stack up against either of these teams right now. So to me, this might be the NBA championship. 239 and a half is the over under. Top six efficiency offensive teams. Their games have gone over that 240 point number two out of three times this year. It's going to be up and down. It's going to be fast paced. It's going to be tons of offense. And you think they're going to dig in defensively. It'll be interesting to see in the playoffs if they actually dig in defensively, but still can't stop each other because uh, both those teams are so good. Um, looking forward to those games in the NBA. We've got a full major league baseball slate also uh, today, taking a look at, at some of that action that's coming up that might be of interest. Um, one thing that stood out was the Orioles. Uh, we knocked them a little bit. They lost 14 games in a row at one point, but I believe they've won three since then. And uh, the Orioles are a favorite um, against the Indians today with their, their ace, John Means, on the hill. And uh, uh, the Orioles have gone from like a minus 11 to like a minus 125 favorite in that game at Camden Yards after winning as an underdog yesterday. An underdog that was a sharp play yesterday, by the way. So it uh, looks like the Sharps are on the Orioles again, riding the hot team after a, a, a long cold streak. And that one, um, one of the big favorites of the day is the uh, White Sox. Uh, they've gone from minus 222 to minus 243 with Giolito on the mound, um, facing a left-handed pitcher. Um, tons of money coming in on the White Sox. Huge favorite. This could be an Algavision pick, although I think the odds are getting up there a little too much. I don't know if they'll throw it out there to us at minus 243. Um, but the White Sox are 13-3 and three against left-handed pitching this year. Um, we're something like 14-0 and 0 against left-handed pitching last year. Um, they're going against Scooble today on the mound. He's a lefty for the Tigers, the Tigers um, valiant effort yesterday as underdogs. Again, a sharp play, the Tigers yesterday, they were down, I believe seven to one, came back and ended up losing on a walk-off hit in the bottom of the ninth, nine to eight. Um, Reds and Cardinals, again, the Cardinals rear their ugly heads. This time uh, the Cardinals are um, being bet down. They were minus 148 favorites, been bet down to minus 121. Uh, the Reds have beaten them twice in a row. The money's coming in on the Reds today. It'll be interesting to see. Can the Reds sweep um, the team like the Cardinals is, you know, considered a very, very good team, strong pitching, strong defense, uh, winning record, whereas the Reds have struggled at times this year, but pretty strong offensively. Um, it's, it's always interesting to see if a good offense can beat a good defense and good pitching in baseball. Um, we've got Oakland and the Rockies today. Uh, Oakland minus 126 opened at minus 130. They're minus 126 now. Uh, the Rockies uh, are an underdog and the money is moving toward them. Always interesting to see what happens in those games. You uh, figure that Oakland has a big pitching advantage and a big offense advantage, although that game is in Colorado and the over-under is jacked up to like 11 and a half in that game. Always nuts when the get balls are flying in Colorado. Um, the most interesting game of the day, uh, whenever Jake DeGrom is on the hill for the Mets, you got to look at it. It's always fun to see what the odds are. Sometimes they get it well up over minus 200. Well, today you can get DeGrom and the Mets at minus 111. The only catch is that it opened at minus 120 and they're playing the Padres, one of the best teams in baseball. So can DeGrom come through? The Mets traditionally don't score a lot of runs for him, 
Uh, the total in this game is five and a half. It's moved to six. He's going against uh, Musgrove. Um, it'll be very interesting to see. Uh, the Grom pitched six innings coming out of the shoot after an injury last week. I think he gave up one run, three hits, was, was nearly unhittable. Um, the Mets scored a few runs for him. He drove in a run of his own, which he often needs to do when he pitches because for some reason New York doesn't score. Um, the Grom, probably the best pitcher in baseball, going up against one of the best teams in baseball. He's minus 111. Usually you can't find him. For, you know, if you get him at minus 150, usually you're happy. Um, but again, the smart money right now, the Sharps are betting on San Diego. Um, so what do you do with that one? I think it's hard to ignore DeGrom. Um, we will see what Algovision does with that. As a short favorite, will Algovision have the Mets? Will they have the Padres? Will they have nobody? My sense is it'll be nobody. Too close of a matchup. Um, great offense against great pitching. Um, no discernible advantage uh, for either team. Um, probably we will not get that one as a pick if I had to bet. Bruins tonight against the Islanders, game three in the NHL. And we've also got the Lightning and Carolina in game three, big overtime win for Carolina last time out. The Lightning lead two to one. The Bruins lead two to one after a freaky goal by Brad Marchand in overtime from the corner uh, that beat Semyon Varlamov. Two great series. Again, um, rugged Eastern hockey. Uh, Bruins strong defensively. Islanders strong defensively. Bruins a little better offensively. Great goaltending. It took a, a freak goal to win that game in game two. And then the Lightning in Carolina, man, it's just like Vegas and Colorado, up and down the ice, up and down the ice. Awesome hockey to watch, even if you're not a fan. So enjoy the games today. Enjoy the action. Good luck if you bet. We'll uh, see what Algovision's pick is later on today. Hopefully it's a winner, and we'll be back the next time reviewing uh, a couple of wins or one win or just uh, some positive news. Um, again, lost yesterday. Not the end of the world. Uh, Algovision was red hot uh, the last couple of weeks, and hopefully – We'll pick up right where we left off. Good luck today. Have a great Saturday. Thanks for watching.